All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. The QBO Gym is a set of exercises that help simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. And every single month we have it broken down into four different categories. And within each category is a set of exercises for you to practice your skills and complete. So we are going to be working in June strength training or section today. Um, up here at the top is a little video about what's going on in Craig's world that month. He is, of course, our fictitious business owner. And if you scroll down a little bit further, there's a quiz here that relates to the video you just watched. And further down are all of our exercises. So today we are going to be working on reductions in inventory or known as shrinkage. Um, first thing, if you have not completed the other exercises in this section, you need to go back and do those first before you can do this one um, because they all continue to build on each other and you have to be in the same session of the sample company uh, for the entire section. Um, so, okay, so our scenario today is that at the end of the month, Craig mentions that he is missing some keychains. He thinks some kids had pocketed a few at the last market he went to. To make sure everything is accurate in his books, you ask him to count everything up so that you can make an adjustment. This is good timing since it is good practice to do a physical count like this at least every single year to catch mistakes. Think of inventory adjustments as reconciliations for your inventory account, much like bank reconciliations are for your checking accounts. Craig also wants to donate some items to a local Little League team as some cheap advertising. The team plans to raffle them off, so Craig has attached business cards and coupons to each. Um, once again, make sure that you have done all of the exercises in this section as you need to be in the same sample company for all of them. Let's work on the inventory adjustments first. So QBO has made some reports available to help our clients check their inventory value. We'll start with those, then enter what Craig sends back to you to make sure everything is squared away. Um, you can actually make your life, uh, you can actually make Craig's life or your client's life so much easier by just printing out a worksheet um, for him, uh, for Craig to use um, to count his inventory. So to do this, you're going to go on the left nav bar and you're going to click on reports. And then using the search bar, you're going to type physical inventory worksheet and click on the one that appears. So here on the left nav bar, go down to reports. And then for the report file name, we're going to do physical inventory worksheet. I was about to write something completely different. Um, <laughs> you're going to click on the physical inventory worksheet and you will see that this appears. Um, just keep in mind that in a real life scenario, you can always print or email this to your client um, and they would then perform the physical count of what they have on hand and then return the report to you with the completed um, fields for you to enter into QBO. So let's say that we have sent that now to Craig and he has completed the worksheet and has sent it back. Here is what he has completed. Um, now we're going to enter the data into his inventory adjustment. While we are focusing on just the retail inventory, um, this, proce this process is good practice for his landscaping items as well, which you'll see up here. Um, but just for now, we're just going to update the retail items that we've been working on in this exercise. So to get started, you're going to click on the plus new button and then select inventory quantity adjustment. So the plus new button. And then over here on other, you're going to select inventory quantity adjustment. And then steps three and four. Um, here is the worksheet again. I will go back and reference it as we're filling it out. Um, but we are going to complete the form. So we're going to leave the adjustment date as is. It's just going to default to today. And then in the inventory adjustment account field, we're going to leave the default of uh, inventory shrinkage as is. Know that this account tracks the value of the inventory that is unaccounted for because it is a broad and 
very general account. In real life scenario, you may want to make a very specific account for the retail product adjustments. But as of right now, for this exercise, we're just going to leave it as is. So in the product column, let me go back. Here is the adjustment date, and here is the account that we're talking about, the inventory shrinkage. Um, okay, so now we're going to uh, continue filling it out. The product column on line one, we're going to put compressed grass clipping keychain. And in the new quantity field, we're going to put 285 because that is what he has recorded here as his physical count. So compressed, I'm going to start typing that in. Press grass clipping and the new quantity here is 285. You're going to tab over and you will see this minus three under the change in quantity. And then the other thing that he has on here is the lawnmower plushie. So we are going to go ahead and put that on line two. And then in the new quantity field, we're going to add 12. Um, even though the quantity itself has not changed, QBO will record it as um, like an as of date of this product. So even if there is no change, always add in what you actually have in quantity, even if there's no change. Um, and then you will notice, well, let me do that first. Um, lawnmower, I'm going to do plushy and get the lawnmower plushy. And we have 12 on here. It's the quantity on hand and then we have 12 so it is zero you will see that all of these have are tied together this minus three as i said before um, is the difference between this new quantity versus the quantity on hand um, and then this is really going to make it um, important because you will see uh, we will have a specific use for the quantity change in quantity in a minute um, but it's just good to know that qbo does all the calculations for you you just need to make sure that you're entering your accurate numbers um, and then we're done with that. So all we're going to do is click on the green save and close button down here on the bottom. And that has been saved. So now we're going to move on to the donations. Craig wants to give away some of his inventory as a marketing opportunity. So we're going to use the same inventory quantity adjustment workflow to record this. Um, very, very, very important note. In this example, Craig is giving away the inventory as a marketing opportunity He um, versus donating to a charity. If he was donating to a charitable organization and wanting to claim it on his taxes, it would be a very different process. The process um, for that is out of our scope for this exercise, but if you want more information on it, on the correct workflow, please see our QBO Advanced course here. Um, the way to find it is to go to uh, www.fastandeasyqbo.com backslash advance. Um, the exercise is within that uh, program or that course. Okay, so to get this recorded, we are going to start with the plus new button and then select that inventory quantity adjustment again. So the plus new button and under other, you're going to select inventory quantity adjustments and this will pop up. Once again, the adjustment the uh, adjustment date, we're gonna just leave it as is, it defaults to today. And then for the inventory adjustment account, we're going to select advertising. Remember, he is, um, he is doing this for advertising purposes, so this will reduce the value of his inventory on hand. At the same time, it increases his recorded advertising expense. Okay, that's very, very important here. So uh, I said advertising, right? Just, sorry, my mind is thinking one thing and my brain, hands are thinking another. Anyways, um, okay. In the product field, we are going to select lawnmower plushie. And in the change in quantity field, we're gonna do minus three. Um, keep in mind that the new quantity field has done the math for you and reducing the 12 Craigon hat on hand to the nine. So he is going to be donating three and that is why we are putting the minus three. So in the product, again, we're gonna do lawn mower plushy. And the change in quantity here, we are going to do minus three. 
you can go ahead and tab over and you will see that the new quantity has changed to nine. This is how much will be in his, in his inventory since he is donating these three. But make sure you have that negative three because um, that otherwise it'll go the opposite way. Um, and then in the memo field, we're just going to enter donation to Little League Raffle. And note that because this isn't a typical use of for the workflow we're in, it's good practice to explain why we are not using an account like inventory shrinkage. Okay, so memo is donation to Little League Raffle. And just keep in mind, this memo part here is really great. If you ever need to add notes, this is for yourself. It's really good if you ever have to go back and look at transactions and they may be a little bit different, like this one, for instance, um, and you want to know the reason why. So just keep in mind, this little memo field is really great, um, a little, a little add-on for you from QBO. And then uh, the last thing is we are going to save and close which is the green button down here. And we have made that adjustment based on the donation. And uh, that's a simple way of how to do some inventory adjustments, two different ways to do it. And if you have any questions about the QBO gym, just click on the link below and be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the final video in the June strength training section, which is all about paying bills and making deposits. I will see you in that final video.